before these wheels it had a set of 17 inch koi kind of chrome five star looked like a set of torque thrust wheels on yeah. it. typical old man <laughs> yeah. style uh, had to get rid of that welcome to united by trucks today we're going to show you a 49 chevy five window slammed on some detroit steel ambassadors right here on this segment of what's in my driveway Alright guys, so if you don't know who Ryan Cobb is and you don't know his 49 Chevy truck, well, we're about to bring it to you right here. This thing has a unique color combination, an awesome stance, and a great wheel and tire package. And Ryan's been awesome enough to bring his truck over to be featured on What's In My Driveway. So y'all check this thing out. Hi guys, so we are here with Ryan Cobb and his 49 Chevy truck. Man, this thing looks killer. Awesome stance, great wheel and tire package, color combination, super, super unique. Ryan, thanks for being here today, man. Tell us a little bit about the truck. Appreciate it. So it's a 49 Chevrolet, bought it uh, from Hendrix Motorsports at an auction. Oh, and, sweet. Uh, it was about 80% done and there's a lot of little things to change on it, so we got to going to it and changing a bunch of stuff, done little things here and there, and made it what it is today. Yeah, man, that's awesome. So when you bought the truck, you said there was definitely some things that you wanted to do to it to sort of make it your own. Right. I'm going to put words in your mouth and uh, say maybe wipe the old man off the truck. Yes. <laughs> even though it had this unique paint job, which I think was a, even a step in the right direction. But right. you mentioned wheels and tires, so let's start there. What is the wheel and tire setup, sizes, back space? whatever you know about them they're Detroit steel ambassador wheels uh, 20 by 9 in the front 20 by 10 in the rear four inch backspacing in the front three and a half in the rear before these wheels it had a set of 17 inch koi kind of chrome five star looked like a set of torque thrust wheels on yeah. it just kind of typical old, typical old <laughs> yeah. man style uh, had to get rid of that it sat a lot taller all the way around so I had to get a better stance on the truck and kind of bring it up just up to par with the new wheels and tires definitely handles a lot better this way oh I bet what size tires do you have these Detroit Steel Ambassadors wrapped in so the front is a 245 40 20 and the rear is a 275 40 20 moving from the wheel and tire setup let's move right into the suspension tell us a little bit about how you achieved this stance on this 49 Chevy truck? So essentially it's got a modern day suspension underneath it. It's a Mustang 2 front end, lowering springs and shocks, lowered spindles in the front. It's a four inch drop block in the rear with leaf springs. Do you have to see notch the bed at all? Or see -notch it's the not frame see notch, at all? not yet. It does ride a little rough in the back. Might bag it eventually and of course with that, raise the floor of the bed up, see notch the frame. The biggest improvement to the suspension and steering and all that is that Mustang 2 front end. Yes. I mean, being able to have that independent front suspension and not have that solid axle or any of the leaf springs and stuff up front, that's right. going to make a huge, huge difference on yeah, this truck. Yeah, it, it drives like a normal car. Drive yeah. it down the road, I've probably put 100 miles on it today, driving back and forth up here and down to Atlanta Motor Speedway for a Sweet. show this morning. Well, that's cool that you drive it, man. That's what they're there for, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I, I definitely didn't build it or buy it to sit and just look at it and making a cream puff, yeah. even though it is cream. <laughs> uh. One of the most important things, and the thing that caught my eye in Maggie Valley when we met last weekend was the color combination. And I know you've got some different plans for it and would love to hear about that. Right. But what do you think about the paint now? What do you know about it? I bought it, this color combo. Um, I like the cream. The yellow isn't necessarily my thing. <laughs> Which looked, is the thing that like drew me right to it. Right, and, and a lot of people like it. I don't mind it, but eventually I will repaint it. Most likely keep the cream color, but end up going with either either like a khaki gray on the two-tone and then doing the wheels the same color as that, or like an antique red yeah. maybe. Yeah, that Kind of like cool. the, the old. Yeah, like a barn red maybe? Barn red, but yeah. not so red. red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This cream is more on the brown side of things. If you 
were to put like a gray that has a blue tone to it, it wouldn't work. It, it would look funny. What's cool is that you've given this an extreme amount of thought, and I can tell that you're yes. a paint body guy and you're yes. a custom guy. Yeah, that. because I mean, it, it, there, there's <laughs> a lot of real estate there, and you, it, yeah. you can mess it up real fast. You can paint something and be like, well, that doesn't work. Essentially, what I want to do is take the line from here and move it to here. Yeah. Along the belt line here, the hood will be back white or cream. It would just be the top half of the cab that would be the two-tone color. And then, of course, doing the wheels the same color um, as the top of the truck. A lot of these trucks, they'll be two-tone, and the fenders will be the two-tone color. That's what I was going to say. The, like, say the truck is white, and the fenders would be red. Yep. Um, yep. That's not my style. It's yep. not something that I particularly like. We talked about wheels and tires, we talked about stamps, we talked about paint. Obviously you've, you've done some really cool things in those areas and have some cool plans for the paint. But tell us a little bit about the drivetrain. I heard right. it roll in this driveway and man, it sounds really good. So tell Appreciate us a little bit it. about uh, the drivetrain and exhaust and that sort of thing. So it's a 350, uh, three speed transmission. Not much has been done to it. It has a little mild cam in it. I like the fact of having the, the old school, you know, air cleaner on top of the motor. And yeah. Yeah. kind of goes with the the old feel of the truck sure other than that you know it's got a set of flow masters on it yeah uh, just has a good little sound to it not too loud but still gets it done your attention but not enough to drive you nuts right right <laughs> and, and running down the highway at, you know 70 80 miles an hour it's not super loud where you you know you can hear the stereo yeah running down the road that's cool a lot of people ask you like oh is that thing run down the highway yes that's awesome i will i will drive it <laughs> uh, you know two hours three hours down the road if need be it'll do it well you mentioned the interior and it being comfortable um what what kind of tasteful appointments well i'm gonna call them tasteful appointments uh, that have been done to the interior. Have you made any upgrades or was the interior pretty uh, much how you got it? Or So the carpet was originally, that was in it, it's the same color that it is now, but it was a little dated, a little dirty. You could tell it had been worn. Anybody that knows these trucks also is, there's a lot of heat that comes off the floorboard from the headers if you put headers on them and sure. you know from the exhaust there's a lot of heat so i wanted to handle that um it does have ac in the truck but it seemed like the ac just fought against that all that heat coming heat up through the floor coming yeah. off the floor i put down a heat shield sound deadener the entire length of the truck in the floorboard and then had the carpet reinstalled. So before we talk about what's under that awesome bed cover back there, I think it's important to point out that this is a five window truck. Obviously right. in 49, like you said, you actually just told me this, in 49 they didn't make very many of these five window cabs. Right. But there's also another unique part about this, uh, about the cab and about the windows in this truck that I think you should tell the viewers about. A 49 has a strip in between the windshield. It's a, it's a split windshield shield and there's usually a gasket in between the two panes of glass this truck is actually it's not there the glass is actually glued together kind of like how aquariums are put together so it's it's seamless yeah so it's butted together it's and butted has some... together and then uh, some sort of ad adhesive a clear adhesive that keeps it together no leaking I do like the fact that it doesn't have that in between the windshield right down the middle yeah it looks really really clean that coupled with the five window man you You've just got all the visibility that you can have right. in a 4755 truck. So finally, we're moving to the back of the truck. Let's talk a little bit about the bed cover and what's under it. What's inside the bed? All right, so I've actually never seen another 47 to 53 truck that has a tonneau cover on it. Um, it's a fiberglass tonneau cover. I would say it's custom made. I don't know, it does not have any um, label on it to tell me who made it. Yeah, it looks like we, a Gaylord, like the quality yeah, is like really we were, high we end. We were talking about it and I would say it's probably a Gaylord. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it sure. because it covers up the fact that the inside of the bed is completely done. It's yeah. got an oak, stained oak floor in it. The strips are painted to match the body. S strips are painted to match the body. It's real nice in there. Yeah. It's few and far between that you see it, me at a show with the tonneau coming yeah. up on the truck. A lot of times what I'll do, the, the tailgate also has hidden latches on it. It doesn't have the chains that hang down and beat up the back of the truck. 
Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put up the tonneau cover, let down the tailgate, and then close the tonneau cover. Oh, so you cool. actually can see in the bed of the truck, but it doesn't take away from the lines of the truck. All right, Ryan, so this truck is super cool, man. I really appreciate you bringing it over today. Thank you. But what we do with everybody that comes over for a What's In My Driveway segment is we get in this thing and go right around. I mean, That's people right. love feeling like they're inside the truck. So why don't we hop in this thing, go right around, and talk a little bit more about it. Cool. All right, man, you ready to go riding this thing? Let's go. Let's do it. Man, first thing I notice, this interior is fresh. Is that the right way to call this thing? <laughs> <laughs> you call it whatever you want. Dude, I dig it. Just all these light colors, man. Just killer. It's a pain in the butt to keep clean. Oh, gosh, I bet. Cool console. Yeah, the carpet is definitely cool. So you went ahead and did the, did you have the mats made like this? Yep. Yeah. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. Fernando over at Kato's did them. Oh yeah. yeah. Man, I know Atlanta Stitch works. I'll eventually have the interior of this redone. Probably put a different, I, I think I want to do a set of buckets. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. With a full console in it. I have to say though, man, this seat is definitely comfortable. Yeah. Like not uncomfortable at all. To be honest with you, man, this is the first five window I've ever ridden in. Really? I've ridden in three windows, but I've never ridden in a five window. And it's pretty crazy how that can that create so much light. Yeah. And how you can see so much better out of it. Cuts out some of the blind spot. Yeah, definitely. Man, this thing has no problem getting it to go. Oh, go. It's really cool how much room is inside this cab. I feel like in a 6772. You're really elbow to, well, you're elbow to elbow and you're right on the steering wheel. I mean, my legs, right. the steering wheel's right in your lap. And I know you got a smaller well, I mean, steering wheel. Smaller steering wheel, but you've got course, the tilt. Yeah. It's got a, you know, probably a square body uh, column. steering column in it. Man, it, you got plenty of room. So I gotta ask, man, what made you want a 4755, 4753 truck? Just the lines of the truck. Um, it's kind of one of those bucket list trucks to me. I don't think, I've had people wanting to buy it from me. Um, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this thing. No kidding? I've never, I don't think I'd sell it. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure I would either, man. This thing really rides well. It's got a cool interior, obviously a cool paint scheme. And it sounds like you're gonna make it even better. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll keep messing with it and doing things and changing things up. And make it my own. Yeah, man. Another cool thing is you can tell that you know the previous owner had done some some cool stuff with it. It's got power windows and locks. It, it was built quality. You know, it, if if it was an early '90s or or late '90s, early 2000s restoration. They put some money in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for it, sure. It wasn't thrown together. Um, I've had the truck since owning it. I've had the truck completely rewired. It had a modern wiring system in it before, but they had hacked it up so much that I just. I'm the type of. If it ain't right, let's get it, it fixed. Right, let's just redo it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, that's a good way to be with a classic truck, no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. Well, let's just uh, let's go cruise this thing back home. Alright. Alright 
Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to United by Trucks, this installment of What's in My Driveway. Big thanks to Ryan Cobb for bringing over his 49 Chevy truck. We know you guys love this thing, I love it. It's got a cool stance, really, really cool wheel and tire setup. The interior's cool, reliable, awesome drivetrain, and I don't think you can get any better on a 49 Chevy truck. So big thanks to Ryan for bringing it over today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Definitely like this video by smashing that thumbs up button below the screen if you like what you saw, and leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite part about Ryan's 49 Chevy truck is. Thanks for tuning in to United by Trucks. We'll catch you next time. the music.